The next one that we mentioned was going to be tonsil. So this is also defending this area out here. And I'm using the wedge surface between my two forearm bones. And we had talked about that it's in conjunction with side step one. Tansau really doesn't come straight forward. We get off the line and we close in with side step one. Again, off the line, side step one. And we can do that on both sides. Boom. One more. Boom. If, uh, if I've got Jason here, this time we're going to be in matched leads, so he's going to be in a right lead, and I'm going to be in a right lead, and again, he's going to give me that broken shoulder line, very thin shoulders. Instead of squared and facing, he's going to be off to the side. He's going to throw the jab to my face. I'm going to get off the line. Go ahead. And I'm going to use my tonsil. One more time. Boom. Right through here. Then we can try the other side. Left. One more. Good. One thing you may generally notice, we talked about this more in the footwork part of the videos, but it's important to note that I'm not taking a giant step forward on those side steps. I'm merely getting off the line, squaring my shoulders and coming back in using the appropriate block, getting off the line and coming in. And you'll notice why. When we did that tonsil, if you're in the right lead, please, good. If I'm telling somebody to back off or I don't want any trouble and I'm trying to de-escalate, and then all of a sudden his hands come up and he fires a punch, he's typically entering this space already, right? So I'm simply trying to get off the line and then attack through his weak line. Right through here. 